and welcome to, I almost said stream. Welcome to my channel uh, where I do reaction videos, mostly Star Wars and Marvel. Today we are gonna be watching The Bad Batch, episode five, Rampage. Show has been really good so far. Um, last episode we had Miss Fennec show up for The Mandalorian to hunt down her bounty target, Omega. So a lot of, uh, you know, action took place there. A lot of running, chasing and running, um, some fighting scenes, that sort of stuff was pretty, pretty good. Um, you know, just more story stuff. Again, clearly, as we sensed before, she's at least interested by one party um, and clearly she's being hunted down. So yeah, we're assuming it's probably the Kaminoans because they were saying we need to get some DNA sample and she is probably of interest to them for that reason. Uh, but they are alluding to the possibility of potentially somebody else looking for her as well. Cause they didn't specifically mention Omega. They just said they need a clone. They need a new DNA sample to create effective clones. So that, that's interesting. Anywho, uh, I'm looking forward to the episode. I hope you are too. So let's get to it. I get my own comm device. Technically, About time. it's Crosshairs, but he doesn't appear to need it. I know an informant there. Named Always Sid. exercising. He might be able to help. And Sid. You trust him? Well, the Jedi trusted him. He has a point. Right. Not a toy. Ah. I can't recall if I remember who Sid is. I only heard about Sid. Never actually met him. Oh. That would have been information to share earlier. Mm, no. Nope. Doesn't ring a bell. What about them? <laughs> Was I not clear? I get lost. Right. Yeah, that's not suspicious, go. suspicious or anything. Certain this is Sid's. What's your deal, Tiny? You're Sid. You're sharper than your friends over there. Did the Jedi have others? <laughs> Several. Nothing. Oh. I had a good thing going with the Jedi. Changed for all of us. No kidding. I never had clone deserters come to me before. Being separated due to a fundamental difference in ideology. That's cute. You thinking I care? <laughs> Cut to it and tell me what you want. We'll get to it. Make yourself at home. I just realized the back of his helmet has a big opening. Too quick, are you? Clearly, the kid's the brains of your operation. Uh, <laughs> Grab a kid from a few Zygarians? <laughs> we can do that in our sleep. Looks like we have a deal. Alrighty. Their first steps as uh, potential mercenaries. You alright? Yeah, yeah. It's nothing. Oh no. Slave trade I hope he didn't do anything by when he conked his head. People can be sold. Captives treated like property. That doesn't seem right. It's not. And we are going to stop it from happening. Oh, that kid. Echo. As well as Echo, you know, knows about being captured against your will. It's nice to have Echo there. Kind of shows them a little different reality. And Omega is clearly showing them a different reality as well. I only see one child. Poor Mochi. She looks scared. I'm clocking. What are we waiting for? You get back to the ship. I like that they but give letting Omega loot use the binoculars order. since they only have three. Hmm. Well, we know how she feels about holding, sitting back and waiting. Oh no! Oh cool! Oh snap! Oh no, hut. On it. Oh no. Donkey. Oh look. Now she's a bad betcha. We found their ship. Oh no. Oh look at I like that they're giving the gonks a Shut little personality. I didn't realize this is the same place as the um, I know they are slave travers, but their planet looks a little different than I recall. Oh snap. Good job. 
Oh, I guess it is a different place. I, I know those creatures, though, I recognize. The Republic outlawed slavery. We're not in the Republic anymore, Skug. You're lucky we don't Rick have our own. Because this would go very differently for you. Oh, Echo's trying to give her hints. You got this, Omega. Just the rock falling. Let this creature out. Oh no! I wasn't snaking. I was unlocking. Oh! the It's funny. It looks like a toothless baby. The rampaging adolescent rancor is not the distraction. Oh, it's I a baby rancor. <laughs> I think those are so cool creatures. Look at him, Oh. It's okay, Moochie. We're here to take you home. Holy naga, Moochie! 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 Oh! Didn't see that coming. Oh my gosh. Are they trying to hint that that's... I guess I, uh, don't remember them saying the name in the films. Uh-oh. Gosh, Omega. Wow. Not so fun anymore, is it? Yeah. <laughs> He's like victory. Challenge the alpha for authority. All right, Wrecker. Wrecker versus an adolescent. You're free. Go quickly. Aww. Bye. Cute. They're. Nicely handled, Wrecker. Aww. Of Jabba's right hand. Yeah, man. Conchi puto mochi. Bib, relax. Bib Fortuna is a leaner here. Ah, see? Oh, mochi. And she's riding it. Oh. That's a good rancor. Smack a deal. Oh. Oh. Surprisingly cute. Hey, fellas. Your bounty hunter is Fennec Shan. My sources in the guild say she's working on a the guild, mission. yeah. Now they gotta do jobs for money. I wonder where that came from. If you're looking for work, you fellas must be pretty valuable. Don't worry. I'm good with secrets. Okay. Okay, was that a, was that a threat? Uh, was that like a blackmailing almost? Like do jobs for me and I'll keep you quiet or just saying that you guys are valuable to know about so better be careful where you go and who you talk with. Um, fun, interesting episode, I liked it. Uh, we got to see some little tie-ins to obviously the Clone Wars episodes with um, a Zygenian. Sorry, I forget how to say the name. Anyways, the, the slave traders uh, from those early episodes. We got to see, of course, Bib Fortuna and, uh, you know, right hand man to Jabba. So, and then the, the Rancor, which I'm sure is the Rancor we'll see later on in um, the original movies, Muchi. Very cute, Unex unsuspecting uh, adolescent Rancor, which is uh, fun to see. And then a smaller subtlety in the episode, which, which I point out earlier was 
Um, some concerning um, worries for Wrecker's sake. You know, he had that head injury a few episodes back, um, and now and then he complains of head pain. And, and so something's not right. I don't know if there's something more traumatic injury going on in his mind, if there's somehow he messed with the chip in his head, if it's trying to take over, which is really worrisome um but clearly it's impacting his effect efficiency they said oh he's not up you know the way he was fighting the rancor i don't know if that was just him them giving him a hard time how long has he been at this too long he's losing his touch or if there actually is if that's unusual for him not to be able to keep up like that but that's something definitely i notice um i really like wrecker so i hope it's not going to be something but maybe I shouldn't get too too comfortable with these characters because we don't necessarily see them later on. That doesn't mean they're necessarily not around anymore, but it wouldn't be the first time that we lose people we care about in Star Wars. So, um, especially the Clone Wars. But yeah, so overall a good episode. Like I said, it's always fun to have some little tie-ins some, to some familiarity, um, but really fun to see some new elements with the, the adolescent rancor being so prevalent. Um, seeing Omega kind of, you see some more curiosity in her. Now she picked up that weapon and managed to figure out how to open it and then close it, you know, pretty quickly. Um, it just goes to show like while she may be a child and you know, again, that curiosity, she's also a fast learner as we've noticed. What's your deal, Tiny? You're Sid. So she's very observant of the people of the other Bad Batch crew she's with, but also of other things around her going on. So that has potential of as she grows and she matures and she gets a better handle of herself and her own physicality. I think that'll be very potentially dangerous. Like she has the potential to be dangerous, but that's not necessarily mean she's gonna use it for bad because she clearly has a good heart. She has the natural instincts of being like, oh, that doesn't seem good about people being taken against their will, like against slaving or, you know, caring about um, the creatures or being very picking up of people and individuals. Like she's very in tune with empathetically with people. So she hasn't, she doesn't have any like dark side or dark energy vibes about her. So definitely she's painted in a consistently positive light. So we'll see where that goes, if that continues or if they're gonna try to um, add some potentially questioning moments for her, but she doesn't come off to me personality wise to be somebody that would be power hungry. She's just very much about utilizing her abilities to help people. So that's a good thing. Uh, yes, yeah, so overall, I liked this episode. Uh, I hope you guys did too. If you enjoyed my reaction review, this video and want to support, you can show your support by doing the upvote thumbs up saying you like the video um comment with some thoughts if there's something i may have missed in this episode or if there's some potential intriguing thoughts or theories you're curious about feel free to put that in the comments i do come back and read those at some point um sometimes i haven't been as quick to re get to them as of recently but i uh definitely get to them at some point um while i can and uh subscribe if you haven't so if you want to see more or you're curious about when things go posted live or you're interested in some other potential content i have put out or are going to do i am going to be doing the marvel shows as well so keep that in mind anyways thanks so much guys appreciate you watching supporting and i'll uh, see you on the next one